Okay. There we go. For real. The first and only thing we were streaming today. <laughs> Fucking quartzy, man. Man! Quartzy ghost pirate, man. Don't fuck with the ghost pirate. What do you think would take longer? Us getting past Quartzy or us getting past Sands? Uh... Sands took us like two hours, I think. Yeah. I think I think Quartzy would take us longer. Uh, Chamberlain? Who's that? Will Chamberlain? Oh, it's Brock! Yeah, dude, dude, Brock. Who looks the meanest? Uh... Jevil? Jevil. Isn't that, a oh, yeah. Klonoa? No. Uh, that is, uh, from, uh... That's from Deltarune. Oh, okay, that's what I was thinking of. I saw, like, a, like, an art compilation of a bunch of... bunch of clown characters recently. Yeah. And, like, Jevil, Jevil and Marks, and, uh... That clown from Chrono Cross. Okay, so I think la we le left off and we had one mission available. And I assumed it was the mission that would take us north to the Darker Lord again. With the Thespian Mage Waluigi. <laughs> he was Chris Lee famous. Lord. Oh, actually, that reminds me. My friend, uh, told me something. He's in Nimbus right now. Shall I show you the way? Okay. Please, please do. Let's go to Nimbus. Nimbus. Come, flying Nimbus. What, what is it? Speaking of forgotten Dragon Ball characters, the Nimbus counts, right? Well, you, they can fly faster than the cloud can, oh. so... It's an Ahegal. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I look how they forgot the name of it, so they called it Hentai Moon. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. Oh, Which Asgore. Is different. Asgore. Hello. Tomorrow it'll be nice to Heavy Punster Scientist. I just love robots. Do, Do you, you love robots? <laughs> <laughs> Off to Nimbus. What happened to the Nimbus? It, it was given to Gohan at some point off screen. Gohan gave it to Goten and then we just never saw it again. Because we never <laughs> saw Goten again. He became irrelevant. <laughs> like most people in Dragon Ball. Unlike One Piece where everybody's relevant. There's a lot I liked about GT, but Goten just being a non character who's just this little play. He turned into Yamcha. <laughs> He's like a little playboy who doesn't get any fate. shit done at all. A fate worse than death, becoming Yamcha. So light and soft! Okay, just playing in clouds. Don't become like Yamcha. Hey, are you, aren't you gonna ask me to be in the tournament? No. Why? Because you're Yamcha. What would you do to give Yamcha... Like a distinct, like not even just make them Yamcha except more powerful. Just give him a more distinct uh, ability. What would you, what would you do to improve him? I mean, they could use the Spirit Ball Orb more effectively than they did, which was not at all. Yeah, I, you know what? That's a better, uh, that's a better idea than he has. Like, well, how are we gonna differentiate Kui from, uh, from Vegeta? He has no bones. I don't know. It's it's a unique power. Could come into. It's ju it's just weird enough that it could come into play for like one move in the tournament of power. He could have like, had a moment, or maybe they like punch him and kick him a whole lot, and it just does nothing because he can just take it because he doesn't have any bones to break. Yeah, he's like he's a he's a Dragon Ball fighter slime. Cortex. <laughs> yes, no bones. <laughs> Oh no, what can it be? It is a, it's monkey. a monkey. Oh, don't eat half eaten bananas. 
That's how, that's how that guy got infected in Osmosis Jones. Yeah. No, you know, five second rule. <laughs> <laughs> Who played him? Was it a notable actor? Uh, damn right it was a notable af actor. It was fucking... It was fucking... Why can't I remember his name? It was the Ghostbuster. It yeah, I know the, the dude you're talking about. That's who I thought it was. I can't remember his name either. Damn it. Was he what the blow go ghost blowjob guy? I don't... <laughs> I don't... I... <laughs> it was... What the fuck was his name? Why is this bothering me so much? Hold on Google Ghostbusters gonna... actors. Spiky Mike. Now that's a weapon! Oh, that's brutal! Oh, we can't afford it! Damn. Uh, I'm, I'm looking it up. Hold Super on. Sentai gown. Or Saban. What? I always forget. What's the Power Rangers company? Saban, yeah. Oh, we got a good roulette. Bill Murray. That's Bill the Murray. Right. That's his name. Bert Bill Murray. I, I didn't even look it up. I just remembered it. Because I'm like, Eddie Murphy? No, it can't be Eddie Murphy. He's not. He's the wrong color. Oh, we can't. Bill Murray. We can't move people around to... I, I want to separate someone so we could sell the luxury tickets, but we're not going to be able to. Oh yeah, that's right. Shit, we can't we can't exploit that any that that old thing anymore. It was easy profit. Yeah, not anymore. <laughs> Fucking hell. Also, the uh, slightly less pathetic white guy in Space Jam, Bill Murray. <laughs> As opposed to Wayne Knight was the one guy, right? Wayne Knight? Yeah, that was, uh, yeah, the guy who got eaten by a dinosaur in Jurassic Park. Yeah. Ow. And uh, Dojo uh, the uh, Dragon. Uh, I think they got uh, Wayne Knight back for Shaolin Chronicles, which was probably where all the budget went. <laughs> That's right, he was in Shaolin Showdown as the dragon. What else was he in? Wayne Knight. Uh, probably like voiceover roles. Was he in Toy Story or something? That's what? Was he, was he fucking Mr. Potato Head? Was that, was that who he was in Toy Story, you think? I don't think so. Hold on, I'm I, I get him confused with the actor who does the the T-Rex in Toy Story. Who's the guy in oh. Princess Bride? You know him? Yeah, him. I know who you're talking about. He, uh, he wasn't him. But you would think oh. that I would pick that I would pick that that you would pick that. By, by the way, he was uh, he was in The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. Wayne Knight? Yeah. As what? Jack O'Lantern. I remember him. I don't remember him being Wayne Knight. I must have missed that. Oh, he was he was in Toy Story. He was in Toy Story 2. Was he the Oh, he was he was Big Al, the chicken man, right? Yes. Yeah. The owner of Al's toy barn. <laughs> He's always big, like sweaty, pathetic, nerdy characters. That's his typecast. Well, I mean, yeah. What what else did he Corin and Lena. Space Jam. Hercules. Got you something. Hand it over. It is a statue of himself. <laughs> I can sell this. It's, I'm kind of happy. What else was he in? He was in Kung Fu Panda. It's not terribly surprising. Uh. Oh no! That was the you last. You stole my Corin from me. He's my snuggle cat. Twelve Mighty Orphans. Okay. Has it been released yet? Upcoming American sports film. Okay, so it seems like it's serious, not something comedic. Okay. 
Excuse me. Zelos does not like goblin ham. Bone biscuit. Oh. Oh, he was he was in Infinity Train. White Knight? Yeah, for an episode. There's three seasons? That was fast. I mean, there are... Farming is a lot of fun! Oh, it's just chests everywhere. Chests everywhere. Is there gonna be another chest? No. Yes! yes. Tu tuxedo threads. <laughs> tuxedo Nathan. Black! Wow, that's a... That is a high defense uh, upgrade. Hey, you've been oh, playing yeah. for a whole 15 minutes. <laughs> you should take a break. should be friends again. What a forgiving Mazuku. So technically, I mean, the physics and logic are different between series, but Yusuke is the same race as Zelos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uncle Zelos! Because <laughs> the Mazuku are the equivalent of Western demons. They're the anti-gods race. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Because, like, Shinzoku is god race, and Mazoku is, is evil against the gods. Uh. Which, in Yu Yu Hakusho, they're treated as, like, especially powerful types of demons. And in Slayers, the English dub changed them to monster race. Yeah. Make it, you know, less ambiguous. Why well, have ambig ambiguity in a species? Well, because there's also... There are species that are called demons, like brow demons and lesser demons in Slayers. So I guess it was to differentiate the two? Guess so. Magical armor. The d super, super Saban Zelos. Oh man, that looks crazy. I will t I'll wait till we get some weapons available. I like weapons more than armor. Oh, what's the... What's the roulette wheel? Frying pan. All right. If we get more than one, we can sell it. That's... Uh, uh... Hey. Did it. I feel like it's weighted towards that's the, those few sliver options to add tension. <laughs> add tension as if it's gonna fucking jump ahead if you, like, in Bowser Rev like Revolutions. Have you played any more Spelunky 2 since we played it? Uh, I played a bit. I haven't gotten far in it. It's I've harder been... than Spelunky 1. Yeah, that's what we agreed when we... I, a lot of people are saying that, so it's a pretty widely held opinion. Yeah. Uh, Vinny was saying that there's like just too many arrow traps in the caves now. Like, more than there were previously. And the moles are such a pain. 
I mean, if the people if they didn't change the difficulty, people would be like, "Oh man, this is still too easy." Still, yeah, people called Spelunky One too easy. Well, if they've been playing it for several years. It better be too fucking easy. I got to the, I got to the end boss, the the regular end boss, not any of the special hell routes or whatever the equivalents are. And it's more it's more Yama like than Olmec like. Oh, I I haven't beaten them yet. Okay, well, I, I'm sure you will. I'll Thanks, sure buddy. I... Yeah, fine, you can get it. Go get a Senta a Saban outfit. Go be a Power Ranger. I get my outfit. I'm going to fight crime with old people! <laughs> that was the first episode of Slayers I've seen. I didn't even know what Slayers was. Bizarre. <laughs> found it on some random public access thing. Subbed, not dubbed. I think that was the third season. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I rewatched it recently. That was after they'd all gotten separated from the big portal explosion with Darkstar and Valgov. And, and they just crammed know, some filler episodes in before they all reunited again. And it makes a lot of sense why, uh... It makes sense... Why it, uh. Why, why. What was I gonna say? It made, it made sense why I watched the first episode of Slayers and I'm like, why does this seem so familiar? This is familiar. It's got. It's always gotta be bizarre when the first episode you see of something is a filler episode. Yeah. What would be the weirdest first episode of Dragon Ball Z to, to see? Um. Let's go drive cars, bitchin. The car episode. That would that would be an outlier, yes. Yeah. What would be the weirdest first episode of uh, Urusei and Sira to see? Well, there aren't really filler, because it's not a series that is driven by continuity. Oh, yeah. That's just coming down to, like, the, the worst episode, or the least representative of the series. Oh. Uh... That would probably be the mother episode, where it was like all serious. With the the three mothers going at it with each other. Or, you know, just her just thinking about how, uh... How oh, you're talking there. about like the... The Satoshi Konish episode. Yeah. Oh, but that, those are the best parts of the show. Yeah, that's why it'd be a weird first episode, and then you watch the rest and you're like, wait a minute. It's, it's not all it's like just, this. It's just a bunch of comedy. Always has been. Weirdest first episode of Inuyasha. Um, probably the one I saw. Which one did you first, see? The first episode of Inuyasha I saw. I think I called this out. Like, oh, I recognize this. Was when uh, was when that like uh, Miyoga's wife possessed started possessing people. That was a weird one. Yeah. Oh, Shippo, come closer. Hey, hey, Yasha, what's, what's gotten into you? <laughs> and then the, then it, it gets, like, serious at times, and there's some fucked up shit in that show, like the human yeah. face tree. Yeah. The human face tree, the, the the constant genocides that are happening in the villages. I remember uh, back when we were at Job Corps, I was showing the original Full Metal Alchemist series in the in the theater, and yeah. the only episode that the Rick guy Rick came in to see, he just wandered in on lunch one time to watch. To was it was, was it the was it the fucking Chimera episode? Uh, no. It was the oh. episode where... It, it was the Lust episode, where the whole... The, like, a village came down with a horrible, disfiguring plague, and oh. then she kills the guy <laughs> at the end. That was the only episode he saw, and he must think the series is just the edgiest, darkest thing in the world. Well, I mean... Because that by far, that is the most grim episode of the series, I would say. Yeah, that is pretty grim. Uh, what would be the... One Piece? 
One, where, like the Any of the person. Japanese episodes. Oh, yeah. The, that. Wait, I you thought this was ever... about pirates. Why or are they in or feudal the... Japan? Or the one where Chopper teams up with Minoru Suzuki. <laughs> that, yes, that one as well. Chopper <laughs> Man. Pro wrestler Minoru Suzuki. <laughs> the most sadistic wrestler in New Japan. And also noted One Piece fan. Like, he loves the shit out of fucking One Piece. Where's, oh yeah, but any of the Japanese episodes. I'm gonna be chief of police. The one, the One Piece filler that sticks within the world and continuity usually does a really good job. Then there's those weird outliers. Yeah, I like the I like the outliers. It's like alternate universe emergency. Oh no, Nathan. Oh no, Nathan. Listen to how sick I sound. Wow, yeah. you're really hoarse, Nathan. Listen to how sick I sound. Oh, no. We should agree on some rules for our room. Yeah, we've seen this. Yeah. Uh, weirdest bleach episode. The beach episode. Uh, no, not the bleach. The beach episode. The no. Sentai episode. That was also pretty weird. I still think the beach episode is a, is a worse... Would be a worse first impression of the show. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I suppose. Um... I would ask, it's just like, a totally the... random put all the girls on the beach and then a, a watermelon tentacle monster attacks. Yes, that was yeah, that kind of out of place. Oh, uh, the weirdest first episode of a uh, uh, of a western series I, I watched was uh, Shaolin Showdown when they were in New York. That's right. The first episode you saw of that was the one with uh, my homie Omi is the name of the episode. <laughs> yeah, they just go really... to the go to the the ghetto and play basketball. And I told you that, you're like, geez, no wonder you were turned off the series. <laughs> the rest of the series made up for it, though. No, it was, it was a great series. That was uh, yeah. probably the weakest episode. Or a very yeah. weak episode. Uh, uh what else? What? The, the weirdest first episode of Azumanga Daio. Uh, I don't remember individual episodes of th that very well. Yeah, that's that's fair enough. The whole series is a bit, um... It's mostly uh, a question to ask about story-driven series, I think. Okay, Hunter Hunter. What was the weirdest episode of Hunter Hunter? Oh, we got something to do. Oh, Anyone auction! To spend? Auction shenanigans! Uh, when they're just all, uh, when they're, they're actually talking. bidding. When they're talking about auctions, and then, and then, uh, fucking, uh, Leorio, not, yeah, Leorio calls, and they're like, hey, we spotted them, let's go, and you're like, wait, is this a secret, is this a secret agent series? Or the vote, the, the, yeah, the politics true. episode where it just spends the entire time holding a vote and discussing things with all the hunters, yes. and they, Le Leorio talks about jacking off. <laughs> Forget I said that, okay? It's not out of place in that universe. Hunters are known for being very, uh... Very... Understanding? Centric. Yeah. Oh, we lost one of our party members, Nathan. Yeah, you should replace him with, uh, someone else. Uh, Corin, you're in. That's what uh, I like to see! Uh, Naruto. You never watched all of Naruto. There's a lot no. of weird filler in that show. Uh, two of them that I remember being especially strange are one in which there's a, a fat woman who looks like Eno but larger hires them to impress a date. She wants Eno to pretend to be her like she hasn't let herself go. Oh. And the date uh, is like a really unattractive fat Elvis impersonator guy. That is weird. It was super uh, bizarre. But it worked out because the, he, he finally saw the real her and he's like, oh, you're beautiful. Oh. And uh, what about the one where Naruto and the crew are uh, are doing uh, a they track and field meet? Oh, the that the filler arc where they had to escort the guy in the running competition. No, okay, yeah, yeah, that one too. 
I'm not, I'm not sure what you were talking about. There You're was like, the episode hey, where they were thinking about what, what? Never mind. I think I think I'm misremembering. They were thinking about what was under Kakashi's mask, but that was at least an entertaining one. Yeah. And one dumb episode where he was like, uh, he was escorting a little snobby rich kid, and the kid just kept throwing cash at all of his problems and shouting money jutsu, and that was the whole joke of the episode. What? It just went on for twenty fucking minutes. Uh, hello, hello, teardrop. Weirdest first episode of Excel Saga. Well, welcome to the stream where we we go through the motions of Metopia while we talk about anime. We're talking yes. about the weirdest, like most. Oh, this is a person. It's not nor. It's not supposed to be a question mark. That's a question mark. Me. That just struck me. That's a weird me face stuck on a UFO. Likes a bit. We're talking about least accurate first episodes of an anime to have seen. Excel Sog is another one that's not really story-driven for the most part. I guess yeah. one of the Animal Adventure parody episodes oh, yeah, would have had nothing to do with the rest of the series. But see, most of the episodes in that show didn't really have anything to do with the series. I really wanted to be a member of the party. Sorry, slots are just too limited. We only got ten in a playthrough. We're in Nimbus now, which I don't know how much farther we are from the Darker Lord. This is like magic can't. You there? Yeah, yeah, you're right. It is like magic can't. I, I was like kind of thinking, like, what? Dragon Ball Classic. The Doctor Slump episode. Oh, yeah, that one. <laughs> My type. No, that was, he was his little brother, Samuel. Yeah. What are you talking about? It reminds me of my brother, Samuel. Sam <laughs> Samuel. <laughs> like, there's a character called Samuel in Dragon Ball Verse. Alien gummy candy. It, it's Gygus jerky. Question mark. We saved him. He seems confused. Friend from Nimbus. How long has it been? Oh, that's his name. I thought it was a dramatic thing where, like, the name was gonna be a surprise, but no, that's the name of the me. No, it's a mystery. You can't grasp the true form. Oh. I should set my Discord microphone to the snowball, that way you can hear the game better. Did see something dark and lordly earlier. Ominous shadow soaring creepily across the sky. Where could he have gone? Now I think about it, I also saw a giant tower in the sky. Yep. Big dark towers. Spooky villains. The skyscraper. Oh, we're finally we're finally gonna fight Chris Lee at his tower of Hitch a ride to the skyscraper. I'm Lonk, photographer. I'm good. Oh. What is the point of those? Is it really just save a picture on your 3DS and that's it? He's fine. I'm yeah. better. You 
just needed to rest his voice a little bit. You can't fight yeah. without it. You can't fight without it. Imagine Death Clock attempted Mongolian throat singing. Mushroom. Cheerful robe. To be a pink mushroom. Mush- But you're a flower. Well now he's a mushroom. I'm good. Sorry, I just, uh, my mind was wandering. I think I've been thinking about stuff a lot. Skyscraper. Oh no! We need oh, we got clown jewels. Four holes, let me guess. Gather information at the Traveler's Hub. That's, oh my god. Can't it just be over? So, uh, this and one more stream, at least. Yeah. Oh, penguin person. Uh, who are you? Sylveon. Oh, okay. Think you could help me? It's about my friend Joker. Picked up this weird jewel. Now, which Joker is it gonna be? Help me rescue Joker. All right, we're an agent of chaos. This quest may be difficult. Are you sure you want to try it? Uh, we have to, yeah. Hello? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we get new we areas available. Four corners of the earth. I'm sorry, I'm just I'm just zoning out because it's like another fucking gym hunt quest. Because of course it is. Like, oh. The the edge is here, but we gotta do an arbitrary amount of bullshit. Strangest and first what? And uh, and of course we're divided again. Yeah. Why not? Strangest first episode of what? Of, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh... The one where they're not playing card games. So Dungeon Dice Monsters? Or, no, one where they're not playing games. Was there one where it was just not about cards in any <laughs> form? I was gonna say the date episode, but I think there was a... No, Taya just danced against someone in that. No, the, no, there was still a card game. A small duel. Wow, it's hard to find a Yu-Gi-Oh! episode without a game being played in it. Oh, e the Egypt stuff. When <laughs> Yu-Gi just gets a stand? <laughs> yeah. You're like, wait, what kind of show is this? Actually, they mostly play card games. What? Any of the, any of the final arc episodes where it's all just real monster fights. Yeah. Or parts of the darts arc fit into that as well. We're going into lore of the of the three dragons and shit. Uh, 
the cock monster. Zork. Here, here's a here's a challenge. Weird is yeah. the first episode of Digimon. The one where uh, where they're back in reality before going back to the virtual world. Oh, that's right. When it went back to when it went to traditional animation. Yeah. What about Pokemon? Uh, that's tough. That's really tough. That's another one that barely has any kind of continuity or arc to it. Yeah. We do the beach episode where James get bo gets boobs. Oh, yeah, that, that one. Isn't that one banned, though? It was not shown in America. I remember having a, I had like a VHS of Pokemon as a kid, and it was all like, it was all spooky episodes. There was the, the ghost of Maiden's Peak, there was the episode where Ash dies and becomes a ghost, and then the Sabrina gym. Yeah, that's, again, yeah, there's the one where Ash died and become a ghost, and one where, in the movie, where Ash got turned into stone. That's less violent, though. Until until the Pokemon cried tears and resurrected him like Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> and then the second movie, where it turns out he's the chosen one. That's why he couldn't die there. That was, like, symbolic of the series ending, but that the fans cried and it came back. But yet, uh, and yet, despite all that, Ash still couldn't win a tournament until he got to Hawaii. Nathan getting uh, big upgrades. Weirdest first episode of Roni Kenshin. Uh, I want to say any of the Feng Shui episodes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but were there any, like, one-off filler in Kenshin? Like, were there in modern day? No. No, it's just, like, uh, episodes that were one episode and didn't tie into anything else. Uh, the season finale. Jack, you're a VTuber. Oh yes. Oh man. I kind of, I kind of played around with the idea of just creating like a fucking, like a fucking uh, like VTuber account, but rather than it being a pretty anime girl, a pretty anime boy, it's just me looking yeah. like fucking, like fucking, uh, like that dude from Baki with a gigantic beard and hair. Yeah. I'm sure some people would still like that. I don't know. I, I, I might try that. See if I can work with that. I need a good cam webcam, though. That be the only... And a space to do it. Yeah. Uh... Yu Yu Hakusho. Uh, well, that's a tough one. I would say the beginning of the series is, like, not indicative of what the rest of the series is going to be like. Well, it's just, like, detective stuff and Yusuke dies. Yeah, it, it, it's so weird, because you think that, that he had a different vision for the series in the very beginning before he went off on a different tangent? Maybe I don't understand what the beginning of the series wasn't had to do. Isn't he married to the Sailor Moon guy? A uh, Sailor Moon, the the gal. Um, I think so. Yeah, I realized they both started the same way about being these like teen hero shows where they both have gadgets from their assistant that they use, and then, and then that just stopped. I wonder how often the, the Sailor Moon's transformation pen would have come in handy throughout the series had they remembered that it existed. Probably... At least a few know, times, right? You're, you're, probably. But all things considering, I really... I really... It had a lot of other problems.
Yeah? Oh, uh, apparently Togashi, the reason for being tired and burned out during Yu Hakusho, he said that, uh, that his ideas for deconstructing the characters kept being rejected by Jump. And, uh, he, he had a different version of the Three Kings arc that didn't come to fruition. So that's, oh, yeah? That's interesting. Deconstructing characters? Decon character deconstruction? Like, kind of how Hunter x Hunter does it. So he wanted to do Hunter x Hunter before Hunter x Hunter. Oh, man. Restore a friend's HP when they take damage. Okay. Absorb. And I don't. I'm trying to look up information as to what, oh, what could have been for Yu Yu Hakusho. Yeah. You never really know how much of that happens behind the scenes in a series. Because yeah, we've found out over time that a lot of a lot of stuff was changed about Bleach. Yeah, the, like there was some. The, it seemed the, like the there was some the major villain. It seemed changed. like there was some strong foreshadowing very early on that Kisuke was going to be the bad guy. Yeah. And then that just kind of changed abruptly in the actual series. And yeah, I wonder too. if that was his decision to go back on that, or if that was, you know, executive meddling. I think it was his decision. No, people like Kisuke. You got to keep him on, on the good team. Yeah, you can't have... Cause the, what cause are you talking about are... making Lum the bad guy? I mean, She's adorable. Like... Or maybe he would look and he, and he lo was like, okay, if it turns out he's working for the other team, there's no way Soul Society's gonna, like... He's gonna be hunted by two powerful groups. He's gonna be fucked. Oh, he could, he's Kisuke. He could handle it. No, no, no. I meant, I'm talking about Ichigo, because there's no way the fucking Soul Society would, like, let that shit go if he was, like, the inadvertent pawn for... Maybe they, so... they could... So that's why I'm like thinking. That thinking, would seem like well, a good. That's what he thought. That would seem like a good motivation for him to then team up with the Soul Society more. Like I got but duped. Keep in mind that this is the same like Soul Society that had Central Forty Six, who are. No, they were Central they were being 46. duped by the bad guy. The Central Forty Six weren't originally bad, right? <laughs> They didn't question what they were doing. Because <laughs> uh. it does, it does seem like Aizen's, uh, Aizen's evilness come is just came out of nowhere more so than than uh, Kisuke's. Uh, yeah, which we were planning to kind of play with a little bit had Bleacher Bridge continued. Yeah. Um. Fucking, uh, he was the Kisuke being. Also, explain Yoruichi a little bit. Yeah. And because uh, she was like the double agent, she was there to make sure the things went smoothly. Yeah, and then I feel like Bleach uh, was supposed to be more paranoia-inducing than than it ended up being. That was the. Uh, like, who, who can you trust? Anyone could be a bad guy. Gray morality. Yeah, unfortunately, it didn't really go that way. Uh, Nathan, get another attacker. I did get a couple attackers, I guess. She's st still got the money fan. Bayonetta? Are you Joker? Oh, it's that Joker. It does just look like Bayonetta. If you slap the face on a female body. Yeah, it's just... Ice Queen Joker. Ice Queen Joker. Ice Queen Joker. <laughs> That's a weird combination of words. Alright, uh... 
would be the weirdest first episode of Baki to watch? Uh, the, the one, one where he learns to 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 brain gasm. <laughs> Uh, or the one where his mom just walks up and kisses him on the lips. That was fairly early on. That's like episode two. Wait, what about the one where, uh... The one where he fights a giant ape? Yeah. In a, in one... a flaming sumo ring? Yeah. Honestly, any episode of Baki is a strange place to start. Considering how strange Baki is as a series. Eh. Any of the Dorian episodes? He's just beating the shit out of karate- uh, out of surfer- or karate surfer while singing a song. Oh, the love of my life! <laughs> then he gets beaten, he's asking for candy. Candy! My dad only gave me two pieces of candy. But I wanted more than his Retsu Coyote. It's just like, I could give you as much candy as you want. Really? His tears are coming from his eyes. He's like, yes, oh wow, the candy. Blackie's <laughs> <laughs> weird, man. Yeah. And then we got to, uh, we got to, uh, Biscuit Kruger's, uh, half-brother, Biscuit Oliver. That's right. The only man who could maybe, possibly, compete with Yujiro. We'll, we'll never know. He's my new favorite character because he, he, he forced the, the prisoners to paint him a mural of himself. <laughs> with them crying in the background, they painted that. <laughs> Did, did, did he ask for that, or did they just add it as, like, their own touch? I, I don't know. Baki. And then... He, like, gets shot with a shotgun multiple times. He's like, he's like, you should've got a bigger gun, as he's just standing, like, stark naked. The whole scene between him and that other dude... It was just... <laughs> I, like to th I like the new Baki, but it also tries a little too hard to be shocking at times. I don't... Was that really... What, him being naked? With I don't a think very just... visible erection, yes. I, I didn't Spec see anything. Spec doing the big point. pissing thing. Big what? The, bi the big pissing contest with the cop. Uh, it, and then dropping literal... two bun shaped like... Uh, like testicles. It wasn't a literal... Pissing contest. Hello, Darian. Icy mints. That's good meal food. Oh man. I'm just Yay! Harry. Harry Potter. Oh, that's supposed to be Joker though. I know. Have this jewel. Got one of those jewels. Why did you have a jewel that a monster wanted? Oh, don't worry, forget about it. Dumbledore probably gave it to you or something. I'm Joker. Joker. Uh, so we tried to do Book of Mario, Darian, and it just it just wasn't having it. Cortez kept on uh, using his stand for your ace time and forced us back to the beginning of the save. We had like ten crashes. I'm gonna have to try to advance a little bit uh, off stream and maybe come back. <laughs> I can't wait for your troop report to say, yeah, it, it worked the first time. Yeah. I tried it. I'm sorry for being so mean by giving, by giving, no, receiving gifts from Corrin. What a petty asshole me, me is. 
I by forgive way, you for receiving gifts, Lena. By the way, is there ever a, a, a thing where they just refuse to forgive each other? I think it can happen. Oh, well, I, I didn't. I see this. Delicious. We're so good! We're so, we're so broke that all we have for dinner is table mints. <laughs> <laughs> so it reminds me of in uh, Swordsman 2, uh, the guy is just hanging hooks, he's like, The animals, they give me water. Only water. When I first heard that line, I'm like, wait, so he gets the animals to give him water to so he can survive? He, like, trains the rats? But no. Uh, is the elf girl... Mayor Dong. Uh. Oh, it's Matt from uh, Wii Sports. Oh, yeah. Hercule! Hercule. Desert Celebrity. Oh, this is intolerable. I finally get a vacation and now there's this Darker Lord running around. I still have nightmares about the old Dark Lord. Oh, hello, you! You seen any eye or nose jewels? Not long ago, I did get a hold of a weird jewel. Does that sound like what you're after? Could be, yeah. I had to throw it out. Oh, you fool. There's some ruins in the desert. You want to go? Yes, please. Underground labyrinth. Oh, those are two words that I just love. <laughs> if you find it, I'll let you have it for free. Fucking better, you threw it out. <laughs> All right, desert ruins, let's go. Desert lab underground labyrinth. I want there to be a thing where it's like, you gotta progress the labyrinth and the underground, and somebody's like, no, fuck that, and they bunker bust it, destroying the labyrinth, and they're like, okay, let's go on now. Send Ken Pachi into a labyrinth, he just walks through every wall. <laughs> <laughs> no, Kenny, I said this way! <laughs> oh, we're... I really wonder how much of the cast they're gonna get back. Pro probably all of it for Bleach. It hasn't been that long. When did the dub end? It was like 2010, maybe? Hello? Wait, hold on. I just, I, I just discovered some new information about a hentai artist becoming legit. Oh, okay. Like, <laughs> hold on. Give me a second. There is... I know that... <laughs> Wait. Wait, that, that was his pseudonym? Oh, what now? Akira Hiramoto, the prison school guy, apparently was a former hentai artist. Okay. What, what was the hentai name? Uh, Daigo. I'm not familiar. I, I, I am. Did we watch prison school? What? Did we watch prison school? I don't think we did. You're thinking of Dead Man Wonderland. That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, no, it wasn't Prison Dead Man Game Wonderland. Prison Game Show. Hachimitsu Academy, one of the strictest girls' academies in Tokyo, has decided to admit boys into their system. <laughs> yeah, all the other... <laughs> okay, that was a twist. The capture and arrest by the Underground Student Council causes the five boys to receive an ultimatum. Either stay a month in the prison school block or be expelled. 
the boys are incarcerated in the prison, prison block together, and the main character is overwhelmed by the discovery that all the other boys are masochists that revel in the punishments handed to them by their attractive but vicious supervisors. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, of course it was written by a hentai artist. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's prison school? Yeah. I thought you were describing the plot of the hentai. No, it was prison school. But, but yes, I am describing the plot of a hentai, except it's not a hentai. What the... Somebody's knocking at my window. Hold on. Hold on one second. Yes? You need to mute yourself, Jack. Hold on. Unfortunately, we cannot remove Zelrog, so he's just going to be overleveled compared to everyone else. I mean, I could change class if I really wanted to, but... I'm fine having an overpowered cleric for the end. That seems like a good thing to have. I do... I think the final, final battle involves all ten party members, so I don't want to leave anyone totally just in, in the dust in terms of levels. I'm back. Hold on. <laughs> I need to get my earbuds. Dad was showing me his, new, his sweet new face mask. Mm. It has an alien on it. It's called Be Kind and Not Nice. Ah, dang it. Come on, earbuds. Come on. Out, 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 Level 13 with Corrin. Alright, I'm ready. what I miss? Ah, uh, not much. More of the same. Okay. Oh, I've so just Metopia. I've said this before, the game is, yeah, it's, gameplay is pretty repetitive. That's why. That's why we kind of use this to do podcasts. Ah, uh, uh, no, my mouse. Just noses and glyphs everywhere. On one hand, it's nice to not have to think about every single interaction with enemies, but I guess it's the same kind of problem people complain about Pokemon with. Is it just too easy after a point? But this isn't really even... You don't really need to be as attentive as Pokemon. The game just plays itself for you, for the most part. It really is like, a, like an idle game philosophy. Everyone's 17 now. I think our main ones are going to be the early four. Because the mage and the warrior are good classes. Uh, Morio... Morio was never a, a character in this. 
could have made him one, I guess. There's not a plumber class. Oh! Oh, I should have taken a picture. So, we're watching 2018 Baki the Grappler, and there's a character named Morio. He's a detective, and he's got the mustache and everything. Pachi got promised I in a music box. I met you playing a book of Mario. Uh, it, uh, it broke. It, it, we got like 20 crashes. And it was just not progressing in the, in the Cortez fight. We couldn't get past it. So, I'm gonna fiddle with it off stream. See if I can get like a, maybe a save state. At a safer point. But we were we just weren't able to get anywhere on stream. Who hasn't eaten hieroglyph? Everyone has eaten hieroglyph toast. Magic and MP. It's good for Lena. Not so much for Corin. A lot of our guys' in-jokes are appearing in Baki. Are we in-jokes? Me and Jack? Because we appeared in Baki. I don't think we showed that on stream. But there was just one shot where buff, Baki, Baki-ized versions of me and Jack were background characters for one shot. Luminous frying pan. Black katana. That's a Kenpachi weapon. More, actually, more of the more of the Zoro weapon. What the a hand wand? Really? Well, I, I kind of want that, but I, I also want the black katana, and that's cheaper. So I'll uh, I'll buy Kenpachi his cursed Zoro sword. With his stupid monsters ink armor. Nathan just keeps getting sick. We'll get, we'll get Zellos. I assume you're still dealing with something, Jack, because I can't hear you. He's not trying to say something, is he? Here, I'll, uh, just in case, I'm going to disconnect and reconnect to the call. Sometimes Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Well, I could hear him. Now I can't hear anything anymore. He came back for a split second. I think... I'm gonna assume he's having microphone I issues. No, Jack left to deal with something for a second. Then he came back, and he's... I can hear both. Wait, you can hear Jack now? Right now, I don't hear Jack. Hello? I heard a buzz for a second. Uh... The mention of Quartzy was enough to break things again. Uh, the stream's working fine, it's just Jack on Discord. I'm not able to hear anything. Let me message him, and then I'll just I'll resume playing. I don't, I don't want to linger too long. I'll t type a message to him. I suppose the gem isn't here. Oh, we gotta check all the spots. There's three of them. It's not much of a labyrinth, but I guess, you know, there's dead ends, so that counts. I think my microphone died. Rip. Welp. I guess, uh, I guess Jack's gonna be in the need for a new microphone. 
there wasn't anything particularly exciting and happening anyway. So, uh, if you want to join the, the Twitch chat, you can do that, Jack. I'm just gonna finish the labyrinth and then stop it. I'll get the... get the second jewel. It would be a shorter stream, but we'll get stuff done. I've been trying to talk to you for ten minutes. Double Royal Wave? Oh, that's right, she gets attack magic. Oh, no, I didn't... Well, whatever. I accidentally gave myself extra EXP. Already at level 20. Is it always the third one? We don't have to check every path just to get a story required jewel. Oh, that'd be mean. Uh, yes, we're waiting on the dub for Yashihime. Oh, wait, that didn't work. Uh, I hear shitty quality, Jack. Is that like your inbuilt microphone? Or your phone or something? Hello? Hello, we hear Jack from beyond the grave. What? I I can hear you. It's very low quality. Yeah, it's this microphone. Hold on, I'm gonna switch microphones. Just Zelos gets all the toast because he'll the only he's the only one who'll eat it. What do we got? We don't we don't have any tickets this stream, which means we don't have any money by extension. We bought all the now? stuff we're gonna be oh. able to buy. Uh, sounds about the same. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, the, uh, the cord that was, like, connecting the headphones to the wire is just... I just noticed that it, that it got twisted and frayed. Yeah. So, I'm, uh... I'm gonna need to, uh... Be, like, $30 for another pair of headphones. I can't seem to watch the stream of the, like, my screen share? No. That... That... Work. Are you talking about Discord or on Twitch? I think you're cutting out. We're barely hearing anything, Jack. Yeah, I did. I I was trying to mess with it, and it didn't work. Oh, what happened? Uh, I get, I'm pissed off at Corrin now? been a good day today. It's been a very technical, difficulty heavy stream. I I need to... I, how am I going to get a new microphone? I, I am so pissed right now. <laughs> oh, I gotta go stop it. What? I better go shopping for a new microphone. Yeah. How much was the... How much was that one? That one was 50. It's 
It's not as good a quality as like the, the snowball, but you can get a, you can get a headset for twenty five or thirty. Yeah, I think that's about what I spent on this one. Attack and sync with a friend and hit from behind for greater damage. I wonder if it's always the third one we check, or if we just got unlucky. I would say luck. This has been kind of an unlucky day. You're just running into a lot of fucking... It's just a, a, a cave with two dead ends and lots of enemies. It's the best kind of game design. Wandering around in lots of random encounters. At least they don't know Supersonic. What kind of mic do you use for your voice demos? Uh, it's a, bl a bl blue snowball. Although I have a... I have a soundproofed closet for it, and I have a... I have a shock mount, and, uh... Pop filter. I don't use for streams, but I use it for uh, professional recording. Even then, I'm kind of under-equipped, though. It's recommended to have a more uh, more advanced setup. I don't think a lot of a lot of professionals use USB microphones. I've tried traditional varieties, but the the soundboards are crazy expensive. Like thousands of dollars expensive. Oh, well, we got gold to spend. Destruction Spear. That's a monster hunter weapon. Yeah, fine. Have your heart flower. Invest in soundproof boards. Uh, soundboard is not particularly expensive. It's just a matter of A, putting it up, and B, it's not perfect, so you still have to start with a room that is, uh, you know, reasonably suited for it. Like, uh, walk-in closets. If you have a walk-in closet, then just having it full of clothes or towels or some kind of padding is usually enough. Oh, Nathan likes the toast. He's not a magic user, though, really. Last place we can check, so this should be the jewel spot. The mouth jewel. Oh, okay, it just it looks like a bee. Hercule found the jewel and he threw it in a hole in a cave in the desert. We're already halfway there! Alright, well that's a save. Yeah. I want to be friends with Zelda. Okay, I'll make friends with Corrin before I stop. I don't even know what I- what he did to piss me me off. Man, been having stream problems. Book of Mario's not working. I'm just in a bad mood. My, my microphone died. God damn it. I am so pissed off that my mic <laughs> got destroyed. I don't mean to joke, but now you sound like the other Jack. 
in, in slow motion. <laughs> the other Jack? Yeah. What, wait, which Jack? You know, Jack and Daxter? <laughs> we have oh, yeah. to go to the... Well, I won't, I won't do it, uh, any, uh, for much longer, uh... We'll, uh, we'll put off doing just... co-streams until you get another microphone. Uh, I, hopefully it won't be too long. I'll find a way to get it. I'll find a way. I'll work something out. Alright, well, it was a little short, but that's alright. That's the stream today. At least we made yeah. progress. At the cost of Jack's yeah. microphone, we made Metopia progress. And got fucking nowhere because Quartzy ruined our Paper Mario game. Everything is ruined. It was a strange day. Uh, so I guess we'll be back whenever Jack gets another microphone. Maybe I'll do a solo stream, do Spelunky or something. Yeah, you you have my you have my permission to do solo streams until I get this shit figured out. Okay, thank you, Jack. Uh, thank you for watching. We'll see you guys next time. See ya.